Hey guys, I just wanted to make a video here to show you my new Portal custom map and also to serve as a walkthrough in case anybody got stuck on it. So, let's go. Welcome to my Portal custom map. Only rules are that you have to start with a new character and that you have to throw away your pickaxe. Well, I got my new character and let's put that in the bin. And let's go. Behold. Cue epic music. The portal gun. Blue. Okay. Have fun and good luck. First level, nothing really challenging at all. Basic portal mechanics. Oh no, I can't jump high enough. Good thing I got the portal gun. And these walls you actually can't put portals on them which is a special thing I created using sloped blocks the yellow is smooth marble that I just uh, hammered so that it's all slopes and the black is granite they're smooth granite walls so let's continue another pretty simple level and I think I might do this uh, differently in a different map because some people it seems don't realize that you can actually put portals on slopes. So yeah, I was thinking about making a new map where it's more obvious that that's what you have to do. So yeah, that level's still nothing simple, but or nothing too complex, but if you don't know that you can put portals on slopes, that could be challenging. So yeah, here's uh, another level that I made. Uh, this one you have to experiment with momentum and how it's conserved when you go in and out portals. You trust me, right? I'm not gonna kill you here. There's... Yeah, there's water at the bottom. Oh no, boulders seem to have crushed the exit. However, will you get to the next room now? What well, is quite a fine pickle we're in right now. Well, let's go. Yay for the portal gun. And I'm a pro with this, so I'm not gonna set my bed at all. I'm not gonna die here. So, yeah, another level where you have to uh, use your momentum going in and coming out. I missed that shot. And so, yeah, sorry about the Crimson Altar T yet. It wasn't out when I made this, so, yeah, couldn't live it without activating hard mode, which would lead to wraiths spawning and terrorizing you as you go through these puzzles. And another one with slopes and momentum. And here's another part where you actually get to go outside of the testing facility. Uh, I actually like this part because it's not obvious that it's a puzzle right away, but there are only two places uh, that you can put portals to get across the other side. You can also place a portal here, but it doesn't do anything for you. So the one place to get on the other side is right there, and the one you can jump into from here is right there. So now we're actually going on to the last level right now, which... Uh, can actually still be hard even if you know how to do it. You have to use the ice right here to actually keep your momentum going after you're shot out of the portal. And then you have to do some precise aiming and timing with the portal gun to get the portal in the right place. And, so 
yeah, like I said, that was the last level, so now we go through here, and... Well done, you've reached the end of the map. Thanks for downloading my map, I really appreciate it, and hope you enjoyed it, which... I will actually leave a link to the Curse Forge site where I uploaded it in the description of the video, so check it out if you want to download it yourself. And thanks for watching. Bye.